COVID-19 will worsen Nigerians' debt. With declining revenue, Nigerians' debt position will be worsened as the government is set to embark on massive borrowing of over 4.43 trillion naira, the Nigerian Economic Summit Group has said. The NESG, a private sector-led think tank, said the country needed at least 10.1 trillion naira worth of interventions to ameliorate the impact of the COVID-19 and oil price decline on the economy. Nigeria's total public debt, which stood at 27.4 trillion naira as of December 2019, is expected to increase to over 30 trillion naira in 2020. Debt servicing as a share of revenue will also increase significantly. The NC NESG said on Monday in its macroeconomy outlook update. According to the group, the monetary value of announced interventions to contain the spread of the virus and cushion its effects on key sectors and households has totaled 4.5 trillion naira. It said, unfortunately, Nigeria is faced with the dual problem of declining revenue and the absence of adequate savings, either in the form of external reserves or fiscal buffers to finance such a huge gap. This leaves policymakers with the option to borrow domestically or from multilateral agencies and embark on quantitative easing. The NESG said the federal government could issue domestic medium to long-term bonds to raise capital, adding that fixed income securities at a time of unnecessity would appeal to investors who are seeking safe havens for their funds. It however said the significant rise in domestic debt often leads to higher domestic interest payments, which is detrimental to the private sector. The group said more funding from multilateral institutions could be explored to fill the existing funding gap. But the downside to this channel is obvious. Nigeria may have to follow the International Monetary Fund and other multilateral institutions, conditionalities, and reforms with their unpalatable implications on the social economy stability, especially at this period, it added. According to the NESG, lower oil prices and staggering production are likely to persist with negative implications on government finances, other economic sectors, and overall economic growth. Drawing from previous experiences, contraction in the oil sector often drags overall economic growth in several instances. The contraction in the oil sector had resulted in overall economic recession in the early 1980s 1990s and in 2016, it said. According to the report, the country's trade balance is expected to plunge into a deficit this year, as experienced in 2016 with huge implications on government revenue, export earnings, and external reserves. It said, foreign investment inflows into Nigeria would experience significant decline in 2020. Given the fall in crude oil price, external reserves and uncertainty caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The NESG said, Nigerians foreign direct investment inflows have consistently remained around $1 billion in the last four years, 
a maigre amount when compared with that of peer or fast developing countries. The FDI inflows are expected to fall significantly in 2020. Given the bleak outlook for crude oil price and foreign investment inflows as well as an anticipated increase in trade deficit. We believe that external reserves will continue to face pressure in the remaining part of 2020. While we do not rule out the possibility of a temporary increase in reserves due to external borrowing, this increase will be short-lived by weak oil and export earnings in the year, the group added. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? From the way things are right now, it's really, it's going, going to be very, very bad. So guys, the rate at which uh, debt is going in Nigeria, it's really giving a serious cause of worry. The Nigerian nation is virtually, you know, in serious debt at the moment which i think is not a good thing and this is what the this is what the nigerian economic summit group has said the covid 19 will worsen nigerian debt, and it is not a good thing for nigeria as it were we all we understand that you know debt is part of uh <clears throat> it's part of it's part of the way uh, nations have been run, and um, it's also part of how things have been done. But the debt, uh, the debt rates in Nigeria is becoming something else. So I don't know how it is going to be, but generations to come under this country or in this country might find it difficult to be able to cope if. These debts are not forgiven, or if these debts are not actually uh, well, if they are not well managed, so one would expect that uh, you know the government would be careful in you know accruing debts to Nigeria. Now oil prices have gone down. Every situations and um, some other challenges are actually facing the nation. So how do we? Or how to, do the government intend to pay back these debts? Because you cannot continue borrowing without paying back. And if you keep borrowing from different sources, how do you pay back over time? By the time this, an administration leaves, another administration comes in and inherits the debts. So that will be the challenge. That will be a serious challenge. That will be a serious, serious situation. You know, and it's is not a good thing for the country at the moment. Now, the COVID-19 has come to worsen things. Has come to worsen things massively. Many other nations are actually going to be seeking, uh, you know, loans and all what have you. So how does the country or how does Nigeria intend to manage it? Now, the debts that might be or the loans that might be given to countries will have to be rationalized. It has to be rationalized because some other nations, you know, will also need debts or sorry, need loans as it were. So it's a very dicey issue. But this is where, you know, the brain behind the economic sector or the economic committee in this uh, administration, you know, this is where their expertise would actually come to play for us to see if they actually know what they're doing or if they have the, uh, the interest and the future of Nigeria at heart. But guys, be that as it may, look at the amount of money the Nigeria is owing. Now, how do we get to pay the steps? How does the country get to pay the steps with the declining oil uh, prices and um, there's so much responsibilities to meet up? How are we sure that this situation will not affect the infrastructural projects that are ongoing in different parts of the country. So might just have to be suspended or some might have to be cancelled, you know. So I don't just know. But it's what it is, guys.
guys, it's not a good situation for Nigeria. But anyways, kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you at the other news. Thank you and bye.